What's up Guardians, it's your boy Octane and today's Legendary Lost Sector is a speed run with my Hunter. I am using Battle Scars with my Tremors on, Connect Tremors, and I am using Without Remorse Shotgun. Yes, I know. It doesn't have unstoppables or barriers, but to unstop, I am using my Tangles because this... From now on, every archetype will have something for barriers, unstops, or champions. This is a speed run, and this is also my hunter's run on today's Lost Sector. It was just something fun I wanted to do the minute I found out that every subclass will have uh, will have a thing for you know champions. As soon as I was high enough light, I wanted to try it. Um, so, I'm pretty much playing on my dive and then my uh, shuckle grenade. The shuriken type gr um, grenade that you throw that everyone has. It stuns on stops and it also suspends any champions. So, you know, they don't even really like it. Like, for instance, that barrier, it's it, w it doesn't stun him, but I mean, as long as it's not an unstop, it'll hurt him hard. I can just, just keep suspending him. And then I have the Six of the six of Coyotes chest plate, exotic chest plate, as my uh, exotic armor, because I can, it gives me two dives. So, there's that. Now, I'm going to try a run with Radiant Dance Machines, but from what I understand... The six of coyotes is better in the long run. Like it replenishes faster or something like that. I saw a video on it to where it was like, um, it's not cost effective to use radiant dance machines because, you know, plus you have to be bought near an enemy and in a lost sector to do the dodge, it would be harder. Now, if you got if you got a bunch of, I'm gonna try it on ones that have like a ton of enemies that group up on you. I think that's where uh, radiant dance machines would come in useful for strand. Like if there's a ton of enemies that keep coming at you, like like the war dogs. That's what I call the cabal dogs. Um, you know, hellhounds, whatever you want to call them. If there's a lot of those running at you, or um, like thralls or something. Not curse thralls, of course, but thralls. You could, you know, keep keep dodging near them and st stunning them. And let me just say, this dive is just this this strand dive is just freaking awesome. And you can go backwards with it. I don't, you know, I'm sure all hunters know that by now. But like the first couple hours when Lightfall launched, I didn't realize I could go, I could dive backwards. And forward, like I obviously forwards, but I, it was pretty cool. I could dodge backwards. So like, say there's ads coming at you, and they're running full sprint. You could dodge backwards to avoid like their blast. Like for instance, on stop. You'll see right here how good I keep stunning this uh, on stop here with the tangle. Cause see, even when he's tangled, you can re-tangle him. While he's still tangled. <sighs> but yeah, it was pretty fun. I'm using without remorse and it's got uh, incantation and um, exercise rounds. And I think uh, well-rounded or restore. Here, I'll check real quick while I'm recording. Let's see. It has well-rounded, yeah. And I'm going to start trying to use um, the craftable weapons because that way when I'm doing my Lost Sector video, you can use the exact role I have. And then as far as my artifact, I didn't put a picture up because this is a speed run. I, don't have to, I didn't have time to throw it in there before the gameplay started. Um, I pretty much just reset my artifact and put anything and everything that would benefit Strand. Pretty much that's how it's going to work with artifacts now. Like, say you're doing a solar build. Anything in that artifact that benefits solar, equipped it. 
because it doesn't matter. It ain't going to take a mod slot, all that stuff. But that's it for this one. Please like and subscribe. Leave a comment down below. And I'll see you in the next one. Octane out.